Questo è un gommone. This is a rubber boat, but it is as luxurious as a yacht. It is sporty, but is also very classy. In short, it is difficult to define it, maybe by its name. Built by Ranieri International, it is the Cayman 38 Executive, and this is the Trofeo version, the one with the richest setup. With this model, Ranieri International has reached the highest levels of style and quality never achieved before. For some reasons, the Italian manufacturer has raised the level of its production, but this model pushes it even higher. By the way, in the top view you can see how they calibrated the length of the sun deck, just as long as a person. What is the use of a huge mattress? Better to have a very large living area aft, able to accommodate nine people. Indeed, flipping the seat, ten, maybe eleven. The kitchen is here below. The combings protect the passengers and they have done well to extend them to the centre of the boat. Security gives serenity. It makes you feel good. That's why Ranieri International has put handholds where there are no protections at the bow. The deck covering is the same as the aft platform. The steps, the walkways, even the table, which rises from the floor and also turns into a sunbathing surface. Such elegant coatings are surprising on a rubber boat, but if you think it should have a more sporty feel, know that you can customise it, because Ranieri International does everything in-house. All the latest models offer a comfortable sunbathing area, but this is very comfortable and there is even a sofa. Under the bridge, a large double berth and aft, below deck, there is one for the children. The toilet is in a separate compartment. The pilot seat is comfortable, you can stand or sit. In this case, your feet go up on the platform. But if you want to go strong and the sea is rough, it's better to stay on your feet and keep some spring in your knees. Widen the legs to find more stability. We have a pair of 350 horsepower Suzuki outboards. They are the model with double counter rotating propeller. Let's begin planing immediately. The view is good. It is not hindered by the bow as it raises a bit compared to the horizon as it begins to plane. The vertex is narrow and the blind spot is minimal. Twelve knots to enter into planing. Engines at 2,800 RPM. The trim, of course, all down. Is this type of engine too much for a dinghy of this size? Well, it's 11.7 metres altogether, and its weight, without liquids, without the engines, is 3,500 kilograms. If you want to go fast, you'll need a bit of horsepower. As I told you, these outboards have the double counter-rotating propellers, so they push even a solid mass well. And they really do, because without touching the trim, we have passed the speed of 25 knots with the engines at 3,600 RPM. The trim is improved. Now the hull is spread over the water. The total consumption is about 70 litres per hour. The outboard has been moved away from the transom. They have placed them on aluminium brackets, and this serves not only to have a beautiful stern platform, wide and enveloping, but also to optimise the performance of the propellers. The further you move away from the hull, the more the yield increases. 
installato anche un comando che permette di dosare la timoneria. Potete averla. They have also installed a command that allows you to adjust the steering response. You can have it more sensitive if you are maneuvering or a little less if you have to navigate at high speed, so that jumping on the waves you are not making the boat turn with sudden jerking maneuvers. The traffic today in front of Cannes is quite intense. We do a bit of slalom to avoid the other boats. At the cruising pace, it is really enjoyable to handle it, and it is also soft. On these waves, that are not so high, we know how the wakes of other boats are often annoying. But no, here I'm in full comfort, even when I take them, like this, in a slightly wrong way. Thirty knots, 100 litres per hour, and you continue to sail very well. But maybe now is the time to raise the hull a bit out of the water. A bit of trim, not so much. I went to 33 knots, 34 right now, that is. We gained four knots simply by correcting the trim. È veramente morbido, soffice sull'acqua. Incredibile, d'accordo. È facile fare uno scafo che naviga bene. It's really soft, soft on the water. It's amazing. Okay, it's easy to make a hull that sails well when the length of the hull is, as in this case, 10 meters. But here, you have also made two steps, a complicated thing for a designer. And if he was able to do it well, well, we'll see it now, giving gas. I was surprised I did not expect such a sharp reaction. So lively, it really took off. I had to cut back on the gas to find the maximum cruising speed. But the engine's at 4,800 RPM, 38 knots. But now, let's try it to the maximum, full speed. La conduzione non è per nulla impegnativa. Handling is not at all challenging. It holds the route really well. I still have a good view and I have not raised the trim yet. It didn't seem to me that it would be like this. It runs very well on those two steps. They work well. Portiamo i motori al massimo regime. We bring the engines to full capacity. We are at 6,100 RPM and the speed is 50 knots. It is clearly a rubber boat, but it is so high-end, so sporty, so luxurious, so well-finished, I wonder if it cannot be a viable alternative to certain open boats. Let's think about it.